Hey church, my name's Catherine and I'm so looking forward to these next few moments that we've got together. I'm coming from our Manchester Central Campus to you today. I'm also the Dean of Audacious College and I'd love you to turn with me in your Bible and focus upon Mark 8.34 today as we look at and pray into leadership. It says this, then he, Jesus, called the crowd to him along with all the disciples and said, whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. I'm not quite sure about what you think about this scripture, but I don't think that Jesus would have won salesperson of the year with this profound statement to this crowd. And yet, us as believers know that there is so much liberating truth found in this passage. In receiving Jesus Christ as our saviour, we know that we must then commit to becoming a disciple, to see the power and the freedom in our lives, to let go and surrender all, to deny ourselves and dethrone ourselves from the leadership of our own life and put him first in the laying down of everything within us. Every disciple must choose to follow Jesus and surrender and begins the journey of a holy wrestle within, just as Jacob did in Genesis 32, when he fought and wrestled for for the blessing of God in his life and God blessed him and in that blessing he was given a new name he was given the name Israel he was to leave the old ways behind his deceiving ways the smallness of perhaps being in attack um in defense mode of this is mine and I'm going to make this happen myself and this belongs to me but to let go and to put God as the leader and the Lord of his life to change position from a from defense mode to attack mode and from that position of surrender to take back all that God has, has promised he was a changed man and we, may we live in this way may we live from a position of taking back all that is ours but from a position of surrender and so today I'd just love us to pause upon this scripture from from Mark and think about is Jesus the Lord of my life is there any areas of my life where he is not Lord is he Lord of my family is he Lord of my future is he Lord of my thoughts and of my finances I'd love us to pause and reflect on this. And as we do that today, maybe write some notes, maybe write um, some thoughts as some areas where we need to make him Lord of our lives. I'd also like us to pray over three areas today. The first thing is over ourselves and our families and ask God to show us any areas of where he is not Lord of our lives and to surrender again simply to him. The second thing I'd like us to pray for is to pray over people in our church, over those on our teams and small groups that are walking through a holy wrestle like we can all walk through, uh, that they will see breakthrough like never before as they surrender to God and that they will find a new confidence to lead not only their own lives, but those around them. The third thing is this. Let's pray for our ministry heads, our campus pastors, our regional pastors, that they would have a fresh anointing to rise up through everything that they have battled through would become their stripes of armour in confidence to attack and take back all that is ours to see increase and great fruit this year like never before. And as we close, let's pray over Pastor Glenn and Sophia, our senior pastors. Let's pray and believe for breakthrough in Pastor Glenn's eye situation, that he will have complete healing in the name of Jesus and that they will see favour in every areas of their lives. We love you, church. Be blessed. Have a great day.